Hello and welcome to a new tutorial of Mac 3D. Um, today we look at the features for Mac 3D Tailings Plus, which are the DAM templates. Um, DAM templates is a very powerful element that allows you to look at different type of construction designs. So often you find yourself in a position where you have your final capacity design and now you want to refine it and look at the finer detail and how you would be appraising it. Um, so here's an example where you would raise your dam upstream and Mac3D has got a, a range of different construction design templates. Um, starting with a simple upstream construction where you're just uh, raising your dam and it's got a fixed crest. You have also an upstream construction, but this time it has a variable crest. So you see in the example that the crest is decreasing with uh, height. And then there's a third one still within the upstream construction designs. And this one is a lot more customizable and it's called the user defined benched upstream. It allows you to have a variable a varying crest width, varying benches and varying slopes. Then there's two type of center line construction. One that has a fixed width uh, crest, and the other one has got a full width uh, center line. And then finally, the last of the templates that exist is the simple downstream, which is basically a fixed width crest and downstream construction. In order to apply this, it's a fairly simple process, four steps. The first one is to extract a reference line, we'll see what it consists in. Then you set up a dam profile with all the geometric characteristics of your dam, and then you assign it to a specific reference line, which we did in the first stage. And then once you have that, you can raise your dam. If you want to follow this tutorial, there's a zip file that you can download in the link below and it contains all the components that uh, will be used in this tutorial. So first and foremost, let's start with our starting point. In this case, we will build a dam using a center line that's been provided. And we'll go to structure, dams, create a dam from the center line. Characteristics of the dam, we'll use a crest width of 20 meter, a left downstream slope of 1 in 3, a right slope of 1 in 2 and we'll create a dynamic model. Select your grid, select your polyline and there we go we have our final capacity design. And first step extracting the reference line. These will vary according to the type of construction that you have. As you can see here, as you are raising your dam for an upstream construction, there's one line that doesn't change, and therefore you need to pick up this downstream tow line, which is basically the reference as you're raising your dam. This will not change. For a center line construction, the reference line this time is your center line of your dam, as it will not vary with the height. And then finally, for a downstream construction, this time your reference line will be your upstream tow line. We want to see our tow line, both for the downstream tow line and the upstream tow line, as well as our center line, which are all the reference lines that we can use uh, according to different construction. In this specific example, uh, and for this tutorial, we'll be building an upstream construction dam. So, Next, click on break lines, and by clicking on break lines, we now have all the different break lines of this dam, and we're interested, because it's an upstream construction, we're interested in keeping the downstream tow line. So, to do that, we can go to polyline, delete lines, accept, and using this function, basically you just press select it, press space, and it will delete the other line. We'll save it, um, and that will be called our downstream tow line. So that's it for step one, where we now have our reference line. 
So now that we've extracted our reference line, we can set up the DAM profile, um, which will be based also on your final capacity design. And there you will put all your different geometric characteristics for the DAM profile, including the quest width, the upstream slope, the downstream slope, and according to the template that you've chosen, there might be additional parameters that you might need to set up. Now we can go to DAM templates and start creating our DAM profile. As I was mentioning, we'll create a simple upstream DAM. So we call it simple upstream. And we need to have the same characteristics as our full stage capacity dam. So we had a slope of 1 in 3, an upstream slope of 1 in 2, and a crest width of 20 meters. So now we've created a profile. Next step is to actually assign a reference line this profile in this case because it's an upstream dam we we'll use that tow line that we've extracted early on so go to dam template manager it should look like something like that just create right click create a new profile and that will be called simple upstream specific tutorial we'll use this downstream tow line and then finally, we'll use this simple upstream profile that we created. If we were to do a ring dike, we would need to press on close so that it actually closes it. But in this case, it's just an example. So we'll leave it like that and press save. So now the dam template has been set up. And the only thing that we need to do is to start raising the dam. So dam templates, go to dams, raise your dam, target elevation. So first you select which dam, it's this simple upstream tutorial, target elevation. For this example, we'll put it at 110 meters. What's our base grid? With that grid row. And we don't need to go into cell boundaries. We'll look that in a more advanced tutorial. Press OK and automatically it will now raise your dam using the specific characteristics of the profile that we've set up and it will also give you a certain amount of information and the crest elevation, the field volume, the plan view footprint area as well as a range of files, the break lines, the footprint, the shell and the new um, grid. We can now repeat the process and we could raise the dam again. This time, instead of looking at a raise of dam at 110, we would raise the dam to 115, for example. And this is it. We've raised that dam to 115 and we can repeat this process over and over again.